Right then, our sign language interpreter tonight is Winfred Muthoni. Welcome. This is 9 p.m. local time in Nairobi, Kenya. And we begin with news from Machakos County. And two people have died on the spot while another one escaped an, uh, unhurt after a private car they were traveling in was sprayed with bullets along the Nairobi Machakos Road at Kathome area in Machakos County. Deadly attack cases have been raising at an fighting state in the country, with the victims losing their lives in a controversial way. In the latest incident, a Honda Vitae's car was attacked by 18 bullets yesterday in Arabi Machakos Road, leaving the driver and one of his passengers dead. However, one passenger managed to escape unhurt in the Inyas Act. <laughs> na walikuwa watu watatu kwa gari na mmoja wapo ni ofisa wetu ya police according to Machakos County Commissioner John Odego one of the victims was a police officer based in Mwala sub county and their killer traded them from the nearby Kiombi shopping center located along Nairobi Mombasa highway tunaambiwa ya kwamba walikuwa wameenda hapa chumvi kukula lunch Na wakati walikuwa wanaporudi, ndiyo walipofika kwa hii sin, basi gari katokea nyuma na wazuhia na kwanza kuwa piaturia risasi. Tumepotesa wawili uh, na moja wapo vile nimesema ni ofisa yetu. The bodies of the deceased were moved to Machakos level 5 hospital mortuary while the wreckage was towed to Machakos police station. However, Ondego said investigation have been commenced but no suspect had been arrested by the time of the press. Kile ambacho ningependa kuambia wananchi ni kwamba wawe na utulivu na subira ili police wafanye kasi yao na nataka kuhakikishia ya kwamba hii jambo lazima tutaichunguza kikamilifu. These kinds of murder cases have escalated to an alarming level in the country. The government, through the Minister of Internal Security, is being called upon to work with local citizens to end this high level of insecurity in the country. George Mapet.